Marketing Agent South presents Combi Tips. Hello, I'm Bob Rowan, Marketing Agent South, and first of all, we'd like to thank you for the purchase of your Outer Sham Combi Touch Combi Oven. In order to assist you in the real world, we have a few suggestions we'd like to share with you. Um, several things when you're working with the oven, as far as the cleaning aspect, make certain that you never put the liquid combi cleaner in the oven when the oven is hot. This could cause some staining. Also, the oven can be cooking at 450 degrees in some cases, so never pour cold water into the unit. It could cause this, the metal to warp and you could end up with uneven airflow. Um, the glass is highly tempered. So when you're working with the, do the glass door, please make certain that no carts bang into the glass door because that would weaken it and potentially cause the glass to fail. So when you clean, just, just easily snap both sides and then snap it back in place. When working with the oven to clean, there is a combi cleaner that is on the market. There are some other brands that are on the market that sometimes you may be tempted to use in the oven. You should use only the combi tablets that we supply with the oven which will give you a good even cleaning. Using steam table pans, always try to work with a two and a half inch deep steam table pan. And the reason is the recipes that we've developed are designed for two and a half inch deep cooking. So the, the product in the steam can penetrate the mass and give you even cooking. If you go to a deeper pan, it will cook the product, but you do have to cook a little longer to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. So try to work with a two and a half inch pan. The other reason is this is safer to work with. If you're trying to carry a four and a half inch pan or a nine inch pan, the weight could cause you to, to burn yourself or spill the product. The oven is designed with glides so that if you, you can use the rack to set the product, but it also has built in steam table glides. So you can simply just slide these onto the, onto the glide and then it increases your capacity. So you can use the glides or the pans. The, the racks are typically used for smaller pans such as third size, half size, or three quarter size pans. We also recommend cooking a lot of your vegetables open and use a perforated steam table pan. The reason for this is the steam can flow evenly around the product. If you don't want water in the pan, then it will drip through, but you should put another pan underneath that to catch the liquids. If you're doing combi frying, we recommend a perforated pan. The reason for that is this allows the heat to flow through the underside and the top side to give you an even browning. So you'll end up with a better product. Those can be set directly on the racks. So in order to prevent an additional cleaning issue, take a solid sheet pan and put it in the bottom of the oven. Don't use aluminum foil. We, we recommend that you cook on an open product. If you put aluminum foil on there, it could be drawn into the fan, and you might think you've got a service issue when it costs you a $200 service fee to have a service agent come out and potentially just clean foil out. If you really do want to use the foil, please make sure you crimp it tightly around the sheet pans so it's held in place, because this fan is larger than a typical convection oven. It moves the air more efficiently, and it could pull some of the foil off. Lime and scale is a big issue with, with all steam equipment now. Our groundwater is picking up more solids, more lime scale, so we have to address that. This is a boilerless combi, so there's no deliming to do, as in the old days with a boiler-based combi or a boiler-based steamer. So if you see a white film that develops, you may, one, may want to have your water checked to see what the uh, scale content is. And you can also just typically use vinegar. If you'll use vinegar, uh, that will dissolve the lime and scale and then that can be rinsed through your wash cycle. The probe function is something that, that we highly recommend that you use when doing re-therming. This will allow you to cook the product through the safe zone and then serve it at a very safe temperature. And as was discussed or will be discussed later, there is a HACCP backup to the oven. Some additional tips that we would like to, to offer to you to help you in your cooking and in your day-to-day -day work is we, we do recommend that you preheat the oven. Now think about what you're cooking. If you're steaming vegetables, you would not preheat in combi if, or convection. You would, you would preheat in steam mode. If you're doing oven frying, 
you would not preheat in steam. You would preheat in that function. So what you would then do is choose one of these functions, set your internal temp of what you want the oven to be set at, and hit the start button. If you were cooking in steam, the reverse. When doing your preheating, you again want to make certain that you are preheating in the correct mode. So if we're going to cook in steam, push the steam button and steam is at 212 degrees. But if you are cooking a very delicate product, some people like to cook product at lower than 212 degrees, you would highlight that and just drop the temperatures, let's say to 190. Sometimes we cook hot dogs and some other products at a lower temperature. Hot dogs in particular, that prevents the jackets from splitting and gives a better looking product. If we're going to preheat or cook something in convection, say cookies or sheet cakes, you push the convection oven button, set the temperature for the, desi the desired cook time temperature and time, usually 10 minutes is all you need for convection uh, preheating, 10 to 12 for combi, and then just hit the start button. At the end of that time frame, uh, the, the oven will time out and you'll be ready to cook. Some additional food tips that I would like to give you are on things like hot dogs, your charbroiled hamburgers, and chicken. Hot dogs and charbroiled hamburgers arrive frozen. Uh, we always recommend that you thaw those overnight and what that does is allow the water that is in the meat to be absorbed back into the tissue. Otherwise that can be basically pulled out of the product when it's fast cooking. So you'll end up with a juicier, more delicate looking product if you will go ahead and let that thaw overnight. If you're doing oven fried chicken, if you need some additional time in the morning, go ahead and bread that in the afternoon and shrink wrap it. That will allow the moisture to absorb into the breading and will give you a very attractive looking product and will we'll take a step out of the next day. If you're cooking pasta, if I had pasta in this pan, I can simply load it into the oven, dry pasta, and remember, one pound of pasta will yield three pounds of cooked pasta. So don't overload the pan. Fill it about halfway. You can then take your, your uh, spray nozzle and use that to fill it. Shut the oven. If we're in a, if we're in a cooking mode that is a manual cooking mode, go to the cookbook, select the pasta button, and in 20 minutes you'll have cooked pasta. If you'll notice on the oven we have preloaded recipes that are based on meal cycles for school food service but they can carry over into restaurants, hospitals, hotels, any type of cooking. Pasta, broccoli, all, all vegetables of all types, canned vegetables, frozen vegetables. To, to reach those items you would just scroll back and forth to the product. The recipe on pizza has been developed so that when the product is, is cooked at the end of the cook cycle it may not be completely done. So what we've tried to do in these recipes is try to account for the fact that in some of these recipes you will be taking the product from the oven and go into a holding cabinet. So again, the first time you cook the product, do your normal progression of holding and then serving to see if the product is where you want it to be. If it's more overdone, more underdone, we can change that recipe for you. Um, corn dogs, catfish, codfish, those items would be cooked in the perforated pans we discussed earlier. We recommend that you use every other rack position. It allows more even airflow around the product to get a more even cooking. Another thing you'll notice when you're doing cooking with broccoli in your perforated pans, the oven is designed to, to prevent oxygen from getting into the oven so you'll end up with some much more colorful products and more nutritious products.